Hello, this is Bruce at eddygear.com. This short video is going to demonstrate the functionality of the EC14 Eddy Current Equipment Setup Window. This is the first window that opens when you start the program and it is used to set things like frequency gain and the bridge configuration. I'll start over here on the left side of the window, hardware settings. Initialize is uh, actually runs when you start the program, but I'm going to go ahead and click on the initialize button. And what it's going to do is configure various instrument settings based on the last.config file. That last.config file is a file that was saved the last time the program exits. And it configures the instrument and also reads in a tube list if it's available, loads the user's color preferences, things like that. Um, that last config file just set frequencies, but if you wanted to change the frequencies, you can open a small frequency window, enter the frequencies that you wish to use for channel 1 and channel 2. Same thing with the coarse gain. This is a pre-amplifier gain, one of the gain stages. These have already been set by the last.config file again, um, so I'm not going to change those right now, but if you wanted to manually change those, you can. And then this is the bridge configuration mode. Right now it's set to differential cross-axial type probe. You could also set it for a differential absolute probe, which does simultaneous injection into one of the probe coils so that you can get an absolute test. Um, and then also we support a send receive mode. This next uh, section of the window, um, it's there to test the probe and also to test the foot switch. It also allows you to change the A to D range. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on test analog. That's gonna give me the individual analog values of each channel in the probe. So we can see we're at 3.6 on channel 1 and the A to D range is plus or minus 4 so I'm going to go ahead and change this A to D range to plus or minus 5 just to give us a little more headroom to operate this probe in so that the probe doesn't saturate. Um, course balance that is a algorithm that runs that sets the course gain at a level that uh, allows you to have adequate headroom on each of these channels so it, it kind of does what I just did for you and then test foot switch it's a uh, button that can be used to verify that your foot switch is working correctly and is being recognized by the EC14 instrument then under instrument configuration this is for our files that we work with uh, if you care to load a tube list file you can do that here if you care to load a different configuration than the last used so you've got a, a library of configurations for gains, frequencies, phase rotations for a specific tube testing. Uh, you can load any one of those files up and the instrument will be ready to go for you for that particular tube. And then you can also save a current configuration. So if you've gone into the next window, the charts window, you can uh, save those, those, uh, those settings so you can use them again in the future. Then this data directory is used to store streaming data if you care to record all the data as you're testing each tube. This is the data directory that will be used. And then same thing with the image directory. If you care to save screenshots of a test, you can uh, designate a directory for that here. And then to uh, go to the charts window we click on charts and I'm going to continue the charts in the next video